Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a pretty decent sized home bargains haul. So if you want to see what I bought recently in September 2021, then keep watching. So as a little bit of a uh, to know housekeeping at the start of this video this is very impromptu i've literally just set you up on our tv unit on top of a book and the sun's going in and out it's crazy weather at the moment can't make its mind up merlin is literally just here aren't you sat next to me on the floor um mark and the kids oh here we go mark and the kids are um elsewhere in the house and i'm just going to try and film this as quickly as possible because we are six days away from getting married and a lot of this you are sat on my leg you're very heavy a lot of this <laughs> is for our wedding um the main thing that i went in for just going to move the crisps out of the dog's way and um, the main thing i went in for was um different bits to get for like goodie bags for any children. <laughs> for any children that are coming to our wedding because I want their parents to be able to relax and have a really good time. And I, <laughs> and I obviously want the children to have a really good time too because I love all of the kids that come in. Um, oh, okay, high five. Um, so without any further ado, I'm just going to try and move the gigantic golden retriever off my knee and show you what I've bought. There's a few other bits in that as well. Um, but should we do this, Mel? Yes, right. I've organised everything into piles and I figured I would start with non-goodie bag stuff. So if you just want to watch what I've bought generally, then you can watch that bit in and click away if you want to. However, if you've got like birthday parties coming up and you want kind of inspiration for that and what you can get, you might find the second half of this video quite interesting too so the first things that i bought were for the furry giant that is now sat over there by the windows um he is he's like raw fed and he does have biscuits as well because we never wanted him to be not necessarily a food snob but we wanted him to have a wide variety of food so that you know he would adjust in all circumstances and that kind of thing and then his guilty pleasure like you know how we like love takeaways or sweets and chocolate and stuff that's bad for us well Merlin loves jumbones i have never seen this dog get more excited about anything like he does a jumbo this is a jumbo maxi and it's turkey flavor um, and it's a bit of a different colour actually. I think it's like a kind of charcoal grey colour. And then these are just some mini ones. They didn't actually have the normal size ones that he normally gets. But he just loves them. And whenever I go places like Home Bargains, B&M, that kind of thing. If I can see any like doggy treats on offer. I will normally pick them up for him. So got those. Then another thing that I always pick up when I go places like this are these kind of fruity snacks. Um, so I've got some fruit smiles and some fruit strings. Um, these are fantastic, to be honest. Like they're so cheap; they're ninety nine p each, and they're great for pat lunches and like just snacks for the kids in general because they think that they're sweets, but they're a little bit better for them than sweets. You know what I mean? So I always get those absolutely every time then one thing i always do when i go to home bargains and the kids know this is that i don't go that often but when i do i always promise i will pick them up a bath bomb because for some reason my children love self-care they love a good bath even bill who is nine now and um, bath bombs make them really excited so um these are what they chose so bill and stan both picked up the light up bath bomb so inside there is either a light up star a light up, light up rocket or a light up light up spaceship why I say like up light up um so we've got one for stan and one for bill and they look like that and then for daisy she chose a poopsy surprise bath bomb so i'm not entirely sure what is inside i'm assuming it could be a poo which is gross really but it looks like this and um they will definitely be fighting over who gets to go first in the bath tonight and, and all this that and the other but that's fine they're very excited about that so that was their like treat and then another thing that i also picked up was that they wanted me to get them a drumstick squashy soap 
for like the family bathroom, like their bathroom really, because we normally use the ensuite. Um, so yeah, I think it smells like sour cherry and apple, which is quite cool. So I picked up one of these as well. And then also for Daisy, I got her a new toothbrush because if you've seen past holes, I picked up these toothbrushes for the kids not long ago. And what's nice about it is that you can actually um, add new batteries in and this, that and the other. And um, Daisy's toothbrush the other day has just gone walkabouts that we can't find it anywhere so luckily we had some like spare cheaper ones in the drawer um i always i bought those ages ago for like guests and stuff so daisy's been using one of them um but when we went today i thought i'd pick up this like puppy trolls one so it's from colgate i think in time as they get older i might look into getting them all like an electric toothbrush each like mine um because i've started to notice the benefits and i would actually rather their teeth see the benefits than mine because they're still so young um so i got that I, when I worked with cherries recently, you'll have seen that in my latest vlog, you um, might have seen that I picked up some Zaflora and one of them was Cypress and Sea Sage. I'd never smelt it before, so I just kind of bought that one on a whim to try, but I loved it. And when I actually spotted it in Home Bargains, I picked up two more. Um, it's an energizing blend of herbs and citrus combined with refreshing sea salt and geranium on an amber and cedar base. but. I'll try and describe it to you. I'm not the best with scents because you kind of just get from me like, oh, it smells like apple pie or it smells like a sexy man. Um, but I'll smell it anyway and give you like some vibes to go off. It kind of does smell like a citrusy sexy man, but in a really like fresh way. I think it's quite a nice autumn winter scent to be honest. Um, so I picked up two of those because they just smell beautiful and like, you know, like I will sometimes fill up um, our sinks with like super hot water or boiling water from the tap or whatever and like put this in and I'll disinfect my cloths and stuff and then I will let that mixture then go down the drain and it kind of freshens everything up a little bit and honestly when I do that the kitchen smells incredible so I can definitely recommend them, they're really nice. Then I picked up two of my old favorites that i've been loving a lot at the moment and it's the bold tune one with built-in lenore and then lenore outdoorables i have been using these a lot recently um but i probably will still move back over to you know the surf and the um comfort creations you know the christmas the pine and apple one i get that every every year when it gets like christmasy so um I'll probably move back to that at some point when it comes out and then i also picked up two more carpet fresh uh, the 1001 one this is the new scent which is exotic flowers and pink grapefruit my only wish because i happen to think that uk brands are terrible for this like in america you always see themed produce you know like themed hand soaps themed smelly stuff themed this that and the other I would love like an apple and cinnamon one of these for Christmas and that kind of thing and like hand soaps as well like I would just love a like a hand soap to come out that's like one I can get really easily like warm spiced apple or something because I just love stuff like that um, but for the meantime these are really nice and I usually use them on a Friday um, after a big hoover when I clean all the house on a Friday I will normally go through everywhere that's got rugs and carpets and freshen these up and then like just close the door so then when everyone goes into the bedroom later it all smells nice and, and this that and the other um, so yeah that's those and then finally it's very rare that I buy wipes because obviously environmentally not the best option um but i just picked up some of these for like the wedding i know that sounds really silly but if i need to like wipe anything down or clean it or anything like that i just thought this would be a good thing to sort of have on me because i go to the venue on thursday to drop off a lot of stuff um and potentially set some bits up that i need to set up okay i'm just on a snack break for stan there you go honey good boy told you it was going to be a relaxed video because it is a Saturday and I don't really film that often on a Saturday oh and the dog's back um so where was I yeah I picked those up just in case because I go to the venue 
on Thursday to set up and stuff and like check through things and I just thought it would be handy to have in my arsenal and long, along with like, you know, like baby wipes for me when I'm there and like I need to like freshen up parts of my makeup or something goes wrong. Um, I think I kind of panic bought them to be honest. So that's those. He's now playing with his bone on my foot, which is really uncomfortable. And then the last few things that I got like miscellaneous stuff is some roosters because I've ranted and raved about these enough like I love them um they're so good Bill really likes them as well they're t-bone steak flavor bubbled crisps and they're just so good so definitely try them if you haven't before and then finally the kids um got one of these each they're chupa chups cotton bubble gum so it's like the texture of cotton candy but it turns into bubble gum um so i actually got four in the end because bill asked if he could pick one up for noah his best mate so i think they might be like playing together later when they're both back from whatever they've had to do with their mums so um yeah got four of those and now finally on to the goodie bag so i went to hobbycraft um for some last minute wedding new bits which i'm not going to include in this haul because it's just probably not relevant really but i did think i would like show you these um they are large gift bags um five in a pack i bought three packs in the end and i'm going to write every child's name on it and like swirly writing in gold pen and then inside each gift bag is just going to be a few things so when when the kids come to our wedding they a have something to look forward to um b there's a few things that they can play with in there be a bit silly with um it takes the pressure off the parents worrying about entertaining them because let's be honest if you are a child generally speaking weddings while you might enjoy parts of it like skidding on your knees on the dance floor at the disco later on it can be quite boring and i just want the kids to have fun so this is my plan we have I would say maybe 11 young children coming and then three like well two teens and one and and then like some young adults like depends like cousins and whatever but anyway this is just for the younger children because i know that like kids need a bit of interaction and something to do so first thing that i've got was a couple of these and I might set these up somewhere there's a table um a little like coffee table type thing and then sofas in one corner of our venue it's like a big big lodge and um I thought I would put these down on that coffee table there and if any child wanted to go to like a comfy quiet corner and do some coloring then they could do and then what's also nice as well is that if they wanted to they can take it back to their table where they're sat because I picked up two I love to color my placemat books and they're really cheap and cheerful and there's loads in there so there shouldn't be any fighting and you can like pull them out as well because they're all perforated along the edge and then i got two packs of like colored pencils always talk to your venue manager before you you do anything like this because i just said is there anything that you wouldn't want me to give kids or, or like bring or anything like that and then um, because i said like can i do bubbles for them and she was like oh no 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 bubbles are absolutely fine um but just like maybe not marker pens and felt tips and stuff because obviously children could potentially ruin things with those um but i learned loads of different things about wedding venues and how they like clean them and look after the floor and stuff it was very interesting but um yeah so i picked those up for like that corner um because i didn't think that putting something individually in every bag would be worth it because i don't think actually they'll spend that much time coloring um but the first thing that i got for them all were snacks so they some pom bears here so there's six each in each bag and i think i've got six boys and five girls and pom bears just go down really well with kids so i've got i'm going to put a bag of these in each bag and then we have some dairy milk buttons so there's 12 in here little treat size bags and again i'm going to put a bag of these each in the bag as well so if at any point the children are bored or hungry or just waiting for food or need something to distract themselves with they're in there and then the next thing that we got and this was quite multi-purpose mark spotted these is is this big party pack from swizzle so there's over 100 sweets inside there's lollipops there's um love hearts there's chews all that good stuff and anything that we don't put into these bags i will actually be putting on our sweetie stall as well because we've got a sweetie stall as our favors basically so for all of our guests 
instead of like giving them a traditional favor in, in whatever way they're all going to get like a little paper bag with our uh, like names on and the date and then they can go to the sweetie store and fill it up with whatever they fancy like whatever tickles the pickle and i'm going to put the rest of these on there as well because we don't need over 100 sweets hanging around in our house it's not quite halloween yet um but i thought they were a great idea of mark we've got those as well then we have glow sticks because they're quite good fun really especially when it's disco time and the lights go out and stuff and um, i think the kids will really really appreciate these so we've got those as well um, and i'll put a couple in each bag you get 15 in each pack so they could definitely have like two each and then um another thing that i've got are just some um party horns it says like party blowers admittedly they're dinosaur themed we're not having a dinosaur themed wedding but i couldn't find any others and i just thought they'd be fun so, you know like to that thing that was quite a good impression actually so we've got those as well and then i did go with the kids help because the kids were all with me it was a hellish shopping trip if i'm going to be completely honest the kids helped me cheese stuff because they all know each other so bill and stan were looking at stuff for the boys and daisy were looking at stuff for the girls we don't push like gender segregation in our house whatsoever um but just given the situation that we're at and the fact that we know all of these kids really well the girls are really girly and the boys are really boy -y. um so this is what we got so the boys picked these for their friends and themselves because i'm going to do a bag for my kids as well just because it gives them something to look forward to but it looks like a piece of tubing that somebody's picked up from like a warehouse that's come off some machine but they stretch out so i guess you could use them as swords if you, if you wanted to look at them um but they make a really cool noise when you do it and then you can like turn them into different shapes and they are actually quite fun and they collapse back down again so you can keep playing over and over and over again with them but the boys just thought they were really really cool um so we picked up six of those and um, I asked Daisy, like, should I get these for the girls as well? She was like, mm, no. And then <laughs> the second thing that I got for the boys were loads of these, and they're Dragomons. But these were only, I swear they were only like 99p or something each. I'm not entirely sure, but they're collectible dragons, basically. You get one dragon and six assorted trading cards. Um, so we have, like, well we have six of them basically um and i'm hoping that this will make them all feel really special and happy so that's what the boys have got and then for the oh sorry buddy shall we do squeezes out the way let me jump so for the girls he's just sat on my leg um we have some lol hair goals surprise so i picked up five of these and inside you get six different surprises like hair clips and stuff like that so they can put them in while they're there if they want because obviously they're at a big party really so but five of those and then for their little present i used to have something like this as a kid like what were they called like cup cupcake some, I can't remember what they were called. These are called mini cupcake surprises. But basically, there's six in a pack. So I bought two packs and I'm going to like divide them out between the girlies. But they um, start as a cupcake and then you can collect all different ones. So I'll try and show you there. Can you see? So this is like how they change from cupcake. You fold them out into little like toys to play with. And I thought the girls would love them and they could all play together with those. And then the only other thing that I've ordered for these bags are some mini slinkies and those stretchy yellow men. I was trying to take a picture like here or something. Um, I ordered those from Amazon on the way home because um, it just like, I couldn't really find anything else that I liked and they seemed quite affordable on there. So I've ordered those as well. And if we've got any spares of those, I will also keep those for future like birthday party bag gifts that kind of thing um so that is essentially everything we've got oh i also got some mini bubbles from hobbycraft as well but obviously i didn't buy those from home bargains but i just think it'll be a really nice thing to do and like just gives them something to look forward to and i'm happy to put a bit of our budget towards that because everybody's happiness at the wedding is like the thing that i'm like most worried about i just want to have a nice time so yeah that is 
essentially everything so i hope you've enjoyed this video um i might be a bit quiet as i have been for the past week or so um over the wedding and stuff like that just because we're going on a mini moon and i really want to enjoy this um I work really hard over the summer and i just want to like earn a little bit of time to just soak up this time with mark and with my family and friends um but i will definitely be sharing bits and bobs when i can and um, maybe i'll do like a little story time of how it went or something as well um but yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to and i will hopefully see you all really really soon